Here's something I don't like to see yet often do, and that of course will be threads sticking through from a bolt about an inch or two inches. I mean, I've seen these sticking out, no kidding, four inches before. I had to go over and measure it. And I'm trying to just think, wow, what uh, what's wrong with this picture? I mean, could you imagine falling onto something like this? And let's face it, as a builder, I don't care, do it yourself or homeowner, you know, you're just gonna be working around the house. We've got to take things like these into serious consideration. You know, how would you feel if you watch this video, video and you said, ah, you know, this isn't really a big deal. And then someone you know gets hurt on your property because you left something like this. And, uh, and obviously we're not gonna be able to go around and police the world and fix everything, but I feel it's my my obligation or my duty to bring some of this stuff to your attention. And again, that's why I'm making some of these videos. And uh, some of this stuff might not make sense. You won't be able to make sense out of it, but uh, you should at least give it some thought. You know, if you're gonna build a project and you need an eight inch bolt, don't get a nine inch bolt. You know, um, get an eight inch bolt. This is, it's, it's simple math. It's not hard to figure this stuff out. And if you do get a bolt that's sticking out a little bit, see if you can countersink it in at both ends a little. A little. I, anything to have something like this, um, to avoid something like this from happening. So again, that's it. Uh, I, to me, I think as a general rule of thumb, anything below eight foot, like this, um, you know, the threaded end should be cut off the minimum distance or a little bit past the minimum distance. You know, if you're not sure, three threads is going to be fine, you know, but but uh, 10 threads or two inches, come on. I mean, even an inch. I mean, if you could just imagine, like I said, someone falling down on something like this, or I've seen things like this at eye level before, and eye level to me might be uh, five foot eight inches to someone else it's going to be four foot six inches you know a small kid something like this could be at their eye level this is a no-brainer and I, again i hate to see stuff like this so let's um, do the best we can to uh, keep something like this from turning into a bad thing